Hey, what up guys? It's Vel here and today I want to bring you a video on my top five league starts for 3.19. So let's dive right into it. I'm going to tell you what my league starter is going to be and it is my explosive concoction ascendant. So I made this build in 3.15 when explosive concoction came out and it absolutely slaps and it is so comfortable, so smooth. Probably the smoothest build I've ever played as a Scion to go from like through the axe all the way up to bossing. And now even with the flask nerfs that they did, they added Alchemist Mark, which is going to be so comfortable when you level. All you're going to have to do is put in Mark on hit, Alchemist Mark, hit the, the mob, and boom, you're going to gain back flask charges. So you won't have to worry about dealing with trying to roll your flask with alts to get those that extra charge or, or the charge recovery. None of that is going to be as concerning. You can wait until you get more alts, summon kindle orbs, and, and just use that for now. Highly, highly rate this build. Obviously, I will because I'm going to be playing it as my league starts. Second on my list is going to be Subtractum's Bane Occultist. Now, I have known a lot of people who have played this build and they cannot say enough about how much they like it. They absolutely adore it. It is a solid build to take, again, from Act 1 all the way up to bossing. It's got a really clear leveling path. Uh, a nice thing about Subtractum's build is he has made a full playlist for this build, act one to three leveling, what you need to do, what you need to grab. Um, and if you're interested in playing the new buff Soul Rend, which is looking pretty good, this is the perfect skill to play and just put in the Soul Rend later. Start with the one you know, and then try the unknown just to see, you know, later on and see how it goes. Uh, you can catch these videos on Subtractum's YouTube, which you can find down below, as well as the link to his Bane Occultist playlist. For the third choice, I am going to recommend, if you're a melee boy, you're going to like this recommendation. It is the Bone Shatter Slayer, thanks to Ziz and Karn. As you can see, this build is just dashing around with Leap Slam, dropping one bone shatter and moving on. You use Warlord's Mark to generate rage. Things get stunned all the time. And since it's a hardcore SSF build, you know that if you're playing trade, either in hardcore or softcore, you are gonna be able to juice this goose. You can find the link for this video below in the comments, as well as check out both Zizarin and Karn's YouTubes. The fourth build I'm going to recommend is Garatha's Spark Inquisitor. This build I really wanted to play last league, but unfortunately I just ran out of time. However, Spark is really, really strong. It's just mechanically odd. <laughs> Basically, you really need what you really need for Spark to shine is Pierce, Cast Speed, and Wall. Um, the build, however, does use the now gone 15% mana re uh, reservation mastery. But that's okay, because I've already taken a look at his POB. He did not have an enchant on his helm for either Determination or Zealotry. So you can make that back up by, by just getting that enchant on a helmet. And it would be no problem. It actually gives you quite a bit of wiggle room. And Garatha also states at around 650 in his build guide video that if mana is an issue early on, you can take a caster mastery um, and if you somehow, let's say, find a six link early and you're still struggling with mana, then you can also spec into the Dreamer to alleviate the, the cost. This build could definitely do, I wouldn't be surprised, Feared, Feared could be on the list. It slaps Uber Elder. It is really, really comfortable. It has a lot of room for, for improvements on the gear because again, it is SSF HC viable. Last but not least, I'm going to recommend my Herald of Agony Champion. Now this build is truly for the hipster at heart. It uses Storm Rain, but the Storm Rain doesn't do any damage. And Herald of Agony is doing all the damage. It's just a man and his scorpion out there taking on the world. It is so much fun to play. It is really easy to level with. Um, 
and the nice thing about it being hipster is that things are pretty cheap for it. All map mods for it are on the table, including no leech and no regen. It can do both reflex. I personally just don't do minus max because like, ew, I hate it. Why? But it could do it if you want to, really. It has a ton of immunities. It has some very cheap endgame gear like Quill Rain and the Coming Calamity. And with the Scourge, I'm sorry, Beyond Currency coming back, it's gonna, off coloring is never gonna be easier. You're gonna be able to corrupt the Coming Calamity and then link it with, with Tainted Fusings. It's gonna be so, so nice. Like, mwah, you know? And I also have a video of how to leak start this build. So if you're interested in this, you can check that out as well. Thank you guys so much for checking out my top five builds for 3.19. I hope you guys have a blast. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you're planning to play any of these builds or what builds you are planning to play. And if you made it to this point, then congratulations, you're at the end of the video. So maybe you wanna hit that, that subscribe button, it's totally free. And you'll see when I come up with my next video. I will see you guys on League Launch.